So if you are going to take the square root of um, 81 here, now you hopefully already know that the square root of 81 is 9. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to work on factoring, using prime factorization to show why it, the answer is 9, or at least another way to obtain that, because 32 is not a square number, right? So we're going to use prime factorization to simplify this, just like we can simplify this with um, 9. So the best thing to do is we need to break this down into our factors. So I can break 81 into 9 times 9, correct? Yep. And I can break 9 into 3 times 3, and that into 3 times 3. So then what I'm doing, what we have here is what we call the prime factorization. So does 3 times 3 times 3 times 3, is that equivalent to 81? Yes. Does that make sense to you? Yes. OK. So now let's look, at, um, let's look at the square root of 9, which you know is what? 3. What about this? Can I rewrite 9 as 3 squared? No. Yes. Yeah, 3 squared is 9, right? So the square root of 3 squared is? Nine. Square root of 3 squared? Uh, What's 3 squared? 9. What's the square root of 9? 3. 3. Can I rewrite 3 squared as 3 times 3? Yes. So the square root of 3 times 3 is? 9. 3 times 3 is? Square root of 9 is 3. These are all the same answer, but different representations. So what it means is, any time I take the square root of a pair, that's just going to equal what? What's the square root of a pair? The pair? Yeah, whatever that value is, right? So then, it's just 3. I can take out two of them, times 3, which leaves me with 9. Does that kind of make a little sense? So we'll use that logic. 